The Xiaomi Mi 9 has been unveiled here in China. It will be announced officially on February 20th. But let's go through everything we know about the new phone from Xiaomi. We've had so many leaks here in China about the phone, real phones in the hand, pictures from the phone, and of course, all the stats. So let's go through everything we need to know. Right, let's go through the design of the phone, real handsets, in use have been pictured so we know exactly what this is going to look like you've got a 6.4 inch screen that is an oled screen with a water drop notch in the middle no hole punches on this one just a water drop notch with slightly reduced bezels from last year's device you can actually see here these are actual devices in the hand so you can get a feel for just how big the device is. 6.4 inches actually isn't a big phone these days with those bezels being really, really small. They have reduced the size of the chin a little bit from last year's device. And of course that water drop notch is absolutely tiny at the top. On the back, it looks to be plastic actually. You can see on the back there, the design is very rounded towards the sides. We don't know if it's a plastic back or a ceramic or a glass back. Obviously you need ceramic or glass for wireless charging, but with all the leaks and all the posts here in China, no one is discussing wireless charging, so I'm not sure if it's on there, but you of course get fast charging. You get a 27 watt fast charge, which is gonna be pretty quick. Obviously USB-C on there. There is no fingerprint sensor on the back. As you can see, that's been moved to the front. Obviously it's an underscreen fingerprint sensor. Very glad that Xiaomi are using that underscreen fingerprint sensor. That leaves the back really just to have that back camera unit. Coming to those cameras, the Xiaomi Mi 9 will have three cameras on the back there. The main camera will be a 48 megapixel Sony sensor. I'm thinking it's the same one that they've used in other phones. Huawei and the V20 from Honor have used that 48 megapixel Sony sensor. It looks to be the same one in the Mi 9. That main sensor has two supporting cameras, an ultra wide and a 3D depth of field or time of flight sensor. Looks like there is no telephoto on this. You can actually see from a Twitter post that it looks like there's a normal sensor, an ultra wide sensor, and then the third sensor looks not to be a telephoto, so that will be a time of flight sensor. Some pictures from that 48 megapixel camera have already been released on social media in China. You can see a couple of pictures from it. These three dogs here looking pretty sharp. Now, obviously this has been put on social media, so actually the quality will go down a lot. It will be rendered down by the application, so you won't get the full punch of real images coming straight from the device, but it looks good, it looks exposed well, and it looks really sharp. Obviously down in the bottom left there, you can see shot on the Mi 9. This image here of the crab, yeah, it looks really, really sharp. Colors look really good and the clarity looks really great. That 48 megapixel camera is incredibly sharp. I've used the Nova 4 and I've used the V20 from Honor and the pictures out of that are really, really sharp. So I'm super excited to see how that sensor is gonna team up with the new Snapdragon 855. So coming on to the specs, yes, Xiaomi are using the new 855 Snapdragon sensor. Now this phone is being released on the 20th of February, exactly the same day as Samsung released the Galaxy S10. Two Snapdragon 855s going head to head on the same day. Will the Xiaomi phone steal Samsung's thunder? Maybe or maybe not. They're definitely coming in at different prices. So the price for the new Xiaomi phone here in China is three and a half thousand RMB. Obviously a lot cheaper than you can get a Samsung Galaxy S10 for. It will come with either six or eight gigs of RAM. Obviously the eight gig version will cost a bit more and you can get different memory options with that as well. A three and a half thousand milliamp hour battery and MIUI 10 on top of Android. Now, according to a ton of posts on social media here in China, there is going to be a second version of the Mi 9, an improved version, a pro version or a different version. Now the Chinese doesn't really translate too well, so I'm not sure how to explain it to you, but this is going to be a more expensive version of the Mi 9, and this is gonna have four cameras on the back. You can see some renders of it here. It looks 
absolutely brilliant on the back there. You can see a camera bump with four camera units. There's conflicting reports about the price of this one, but there are so many reports regarding it, it definitely must be coming out anywhere from four and a half to maybe five and a half thousand RMB. The other specs staying the same, but of course just adding an extra camera on the back there, I would assume it's gonna be a telephoto. And also they may give you more options in terms of RAM and memory. There's also no specific dates about the release on that one. It may come at the same time as the Mi 9 or it may come a little bit later. So that's it, the Xiaomi Mi 9 will be officially announced on February 20th at MWC, the exact same day as Samsung announced the Galaxy S10. A triple camera, 48 megapixel main camera, Snapdragon 855, different RAM and ROM options, 6.4 inch OLED screen with a water drop notch and it will certainly be cheaper than the Samsung when it comes out. But I am very excited to see both of those phones and see which one comes out on top in a head-to-head. -to -head.